Hiya, Kiki here. And today I'm gonna show you how to get started with Microsoft MakeCode Arcade. When you first land on our homepage at arcade.makecode.com, this is what you'll see. At the top, we have a banner that scrolls through all of the new and important features that we have available for you. Next, you'll see the My Projects row. This one's a little empty because I'm on a private browser. Below that, we have a couple rows of skill maps, a couple rows of tutorials, and a whole bunch of other goodies and opportunities that you can browse through. For today, we'll focus on these. It's possible that when you first arrive, you'll wanna create your own project. That's great. Just click New Project and give it a name. Your project will load in a window that looks a lot like this. Over here, you'll see a game window. The game window is what will display the results of the code you write. Then you have the toolbox. The toolbox is what holds the blocks that you'll be coding with. For example, if I wanted to change the color of my background, I could grab a block and drop it in here. Very purple. This is the workspace. It's where you'll bring the blocks to connect them together to make your code. If you're a little more advanced, you can click JavaScript and do some coding in our text editor. When you're done with your changes, you can test them out here or switch back to blocks. Easy peasy. JavaScript isn't your thing? That's fine. You can use Python. Next, you'll see an Assets tab. If you were playing with art or music, this is where all of that would show up. I haven't done any of that yet, so I'll click the green plus to add something new. You can make an image for a sprite, a tile for a tile map, a whole tile map for a level, animations, or songs. Let's make some music. Here, you'll see we have a music staff and a lot of icons that represent different instruments. I'm going to use the fish. A little playing around will show you this is a lot like writing music for the piano. Lovely. You have your instruments up here, an eraser, a grid in case you want your notes to be shorter or longer, stop, play, loop, you can make your tempo faster or slower. Show bass clef gives you more space to play and a wider range. Undo redo, and you can change your number of measures. Perfect. Now I have a song. I'm going to go ahead and make some art also. Here our image editor will open and I'm going to grab one of our fish icons and I'm going to change it using a super secret technique. I'll right click on orange and left click on yellow. And then when I hit shift R, it will replace the color I had in the background with the color I have in the foreground. Lovely. Now I have a sprite that's ready to use. Presto. When I'm done with my project, I can come down here and download it to a physical console, save it to my computer, add it to my GitHub repo, or I can share it. There, now it's ready to send to a friend. If I want this project to be saved to the cloud as I go, I can sign in using a Microsoft account or Google. Now let's head back to the homepage and see what else we can do. The biggest difference between a skill map and a tutorial is that a skill map is made up of many different tutorials. Let's take a look at Burst in Balloons. Here you'll see four different tutorials that build upon each other to make one epic multiplayer game. To start, you can click the highlighted level and the start button, or you can just double click the first level. Normally, a pop-up window will show you what you're about to do, and then you'll see instructions on the side. Your game window has moved down to the lower right corner, so you can still see it as you code. Now you have all of these instructions that you can follow 
to learn how to make something new. Here, we can navigate with the bubbles, we can navigate with the arrows, or we can use the next button when we're ready to go on to the next instruction. You can click the highlighted text to open the category that you'll need to pull a block out of, or click these arrows to get a clue. There's hints down at the bottom if you wanna know what you were supposed to have done during this step. Follow the instructions as you go, and when you get to the end, click Done. You'll be brought back out to the main skill map where you can sign in. You don't need to sign in, but if you do, we'll save your progress and you'll get a badge at the end. Now you're free to move through the rest of the skill map. When you make it through the final level, you'll come out and get a reward. A certificate, whether you're logged in or not, or a badge, if you are. At this point, you can click back on the last level you did and share it with a friend, or mod it by clicking Save to My Projects. Now you're back in the main project window and you can add any sort of block you want. Don't see the block you're looking for? Click Extensions and that will take you to our extension library where you can add extra functionality. When you're done, share your game to a kiosk. It's as easy as clicking this button and adding the six digit code of the kiosk that you're playing on. And there it is. It's as easy as that to share your creativity using Microsoft Make Code Arcade.